everybody, Sensei Rulo here and Mr. Amaru. This class is for our advanced uh, red belt and black belt. So we are going to do an open hand low cross block today, a spinning knife hand strike, a front thrust kick, and a rear choke hold. And then in the separate videos, I believe it's under the black belt curriculum, we will do pogey four. So we almost got all the videos up there for the, for the pogies. We're at four, working our way down. Um, so, first thing we'll do is bow in and then we'll get Mr. Amaru started with the open hand low cross block feet together and bow. Good. So, from my ready stance. Ready to defend, Good. ma'am. We are going to do a low open hand cross block, okay? So, it's done in a forward stance and your hands are closed. So, you can come from the chamber and shoot them out or you can come from the back hip. So if your left leg is forward, your right hip is considered your back hip, and you can push them out, whoops, open hand, that way. Um, so it's really important we cross at our forearms, not at our wrists. So Mr. Amaru will do them whichever way he feels comfortable. So stepping with our left leg into a low um, open hand cross block. Ready? Nice. Good. So Mr. Amaru likes to come to his back hip. But remember, you can just come chamber and out. So when we're doing them in place, he's always going to have his right hand on top because his left leg is out. Okay? Ready? One. Back and in. Good. Now notice the hands close and then they open back up at the last second. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Now notice his stance is really low because he's blocking a kick, right? A kick. If his stand, he's blocking a kick to the groin. If he's way up here, he's still going to get kicked in the groin. So he has to get low in order to block that foot. Okay? Good. Hot buckle. Ice. Uh. <clears throat> nice. Crossed at his forearms. Now his left hand is on top because his right leg is forward. Ready? One, two. Three, four, <coughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Now if you back up some, we're going to do five down the floor and then five backward. Okay? Ready? One. Chambers, two. So when he pulls back to the chamber, he's going to pull back to his left leg. That's different than when he did it in place. Because as soon as he pulls back to his left leg and he steps forward, that's then going to be his back hip. Okay? Ready? Two. Three. Or, if you want, you just step both hands to the chamber. Four. Five. Now we're going to go backwards with him. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good. Back up. That is a low open hand cross block. Now, everybody get five push ups, five crunches. Go. Good push-ups. Back's nice and straight. I don't want to tire him too much because he's got to do something fun after here. Crunches. Look at his knees are up. Look how much he's coming up to his knees, and he's not bringing his knees in to his chest. Those were awesome crunches, sir. Good. From your ready stance. Good. Now, we're going to get into a fighting stance with our right leg back. Ready? Ice stuff. Bam. Good. So now he's in a good fighting stance. His back knee is bent. Back foot's facing out um, towards the direction of the stomach. Front foot is straight ahead. We're going to do a spinning knife hand strike. So he's going to cross his hands on the way around. He's going to spin to that fighting stance, and he's going to throw a knife hand strike to the side of the head. And then from there, he's going to set back up, and then we'll start it over again. Okay, ready? We're going to do five of them because they get dizzy. You get dizzy quick. Okay. Spinning knife hand strike. So he's going to spin towards his back that way. OK? 
Okay, so his right shoulder is going back towards the wall and around. Ready? One. Good, and set back up. Two. And set back up. Three. And set back up. Good. Four. Good. Five. And set back up. Good. Hot buckle. Hi, Seth. <clears throat> so you're still in that fighting stance. Now we're going to do five this way. So his back shoulder is going to spin this way. Ready? One. Cross. Good. And set back up. Two. Three. Good. Four. Nice. Five. See, he's already dizzy. <laughs> Good. And now back up to the wall. Good. So now we're going to just do five spinning knife hands coming down the floor, and it'll keep alternating sides. Ready? One. Good. Read it out there. Yep. And two. Nice. Three. Good. Four. And five. Good. Now, you can't really do spinning knife hands going backwards, so we're going to turn. So we're actually just going to turn with a cross knife hand stretch, honey. Hi, Seth. Yeah. Good. So now we're going to do a spinning knife hand, five of them going back. Just come that way a little bit so you don't hit the wall. Good. Ready? One. Good. Two. Good. Three. Awesome. See how this back hand's in the chamber? Good. Fighting stand still. Four. And five. Great job. Now turn with just a cross knife hand strike to the side of the head. Turning tight, Seth. Yeah. Good job. Back to go. Great. Now, we're going to put your test, your skills to the test. Sensei Holly, jump on in. Sensei Holly wants to play with your, with Mr. Amory. <clears throat> Good. So, <coughs> we did a low open hand cross block, and we did a spinning knife hand strike. So everybody lay on the floor. You have to see if you can beat the black belt. So when I say go, they're going to jump up to a horse stance. They're going to do one open hand cross block, and then they're going to do one spinning knife hand strike, and then they're going to get back down on the floor as fast as they can. Your job is to see if you can beat them, but you got to have good technique. Ready, set, go. Up. One low cross block, one spinning knife hand, down to go! You're not supposed to beat him. I am. I shouldn't beat them. <laughs> Who won? Um, Mr. Amaru won. Mr. Mr. Amaru. But at home, did you beat him? Gotta be fast. Now this time we're gonna jump up and we're gonna do two low cross blocks in a horse stance. Low cross blocks with open hand cross blocks in a horse stance. Ready, set, don't go yet. Ah, got you, didn't I? Pay attention, you gotta listen. Ready, set, go. Two, open in, low, cross blocks. Good, Mr. Amaro. Mr. Amaro was a little slow, he lost count. He lost count. That's what happens, that's what happens, you know, when you come to Brattleboro and get educated, see? <laughs> just kidding, we got great schools in Brattleboro, I'm just kidding. So, Mr. Amber, you lost count. You did three. Got to yes, only do two. Yes, oh, I know. Okay. Good. Now we're going to get up and we're going to do two spinning knife hand strikes. Okay? So they're going to jump up, do two spinning knife hand strikes, one with each side, and then they're going to get back down. Ready? Set. Go. One. <laughs> Sensei, Holly, you didn't cheat, did you? You're just so fast, no one saw you. <laughs> wicked. You are wicked fast, Sensei, wicked fast. Okay, so last time, you're going to get up, you're going to do two low cross, open hand low cross blocks, and then you're going to do two spinning knife hands, and then you're going to get back down as fast as you can. Now make sure you guys, you guys have to beat them, okay? On your mark, get set, and... <laughs> 
had the food back there at home, didn't I? Ready, set, go! Up, two low, cross blocks, good. Two spinning knife hands. <laughs> <laughs> Now we did a front snap kick in some of the earlier videos. This is a front thrust kick, and they're they're separate. They actually are very two different two very different kicks. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you the difference between a front snap and a front thrust using a bag here that Master Monroe is going to bring in. Who's been out in the woods all day? Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, good. Right there is fine. You all set? You can get off the floor all by yourself? I think so. So this is a 40-pound bag. So what Mr. Amaru is going to do is he's going to show you what a front snap kick does. And then he's going to show you what a front thrust kick does. So if you just stand here, sir. Now you want to try to hit with the front thrust kick with the ball of your foot. So that's underneath your foot, underneath your foot, right where your toes end. Okay, so just put your ball of your foot right on the pad. So that's the ball of your foot, okay? So you cut, try to pull your toes back. So he's gonna do a front snap kick, which if a front snap could, kick could talk, it would say, back off. So here's a front snap kick. Good. <laughs> One more time. Front snap says, back off, okay? Now a front thrust kick says, you didn't back off, so now I'm coming for you, okay? So it's done from the hip, a front snap kick, your hips kind of back and it just snaps out from here. A front thrust kick kind of thrusts that hip into it and it's a little bit more dangerous than a front thrust kick. Ah, see the difference? One more time. Front thrust kick. So it kind of thrusts in with his hip. So that's the difference between the two kicks. So what we're going to do is Mr. Amor is going to back up over there, and we're going to do, right there is good, sir. We're going to do 10, you got it, ma'am? Careful, it's heavy. You need help? <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to get in a kicking stance with our right leg back, and a kicking stance just simply means that you're going to be kicking in that stance. So it's a forward stance, realistically, but you're going to be using it to kicking. So it's a kicking stance. So you cross your hands, kicking stance, right leg back, ready? <clears throat> so the push away was someone's coming after you, you're pushing them back to make room to kick, okay? So we're gonna do 10 front thrust kicks um, using our back leg on my count. So do them with me, make sure they're really hard now. Ready? One. See how it stays out? Just for a second where a snap kick is fast. Two. Nice kick. Three. Knee comes up. Four. Five. Breathe out every kick. Good. Six. Breathe out now. Good. Seven. Hands are up still. Front knees bent. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. Now we're going to hot buckle, so you're still going to cross your hands. Um, we're gonna, you're going to still cross your hands and push away. Ready? Hop up. Isa. <clears throat> Good. So we're going to do 10 this leg, and then we're going to do them across the floor a little bit so that you can kind of see the difference between the kicks. Ready? One. Hands are up. Knees bent. Two. Three. See how he pushes his hip in? Four. Nice. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
Make sure your hands stay up and your knees bent when you come back. Ten. Good. So now we're going to just, if you just go over there from your kicking stand, still in our kicking stand. Now, watch the first kick. We're going to do a front snap kick. Front snap kick. So you see the difference. Ready? Ice. See how fast that was? Now he's going to do a front thrust kick. Ice. Good. We're going to do four more now. Two. Three. Four. Great. How about the ice, huh? Okay, just move this way a tiny bit. There you go. Front snap kick looks like this. Ice. Front snap. Good. So front thrust kick is harder. Here we go. We're going to do four. Front, uh, five front thrust kicks. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. And one more. Five. Good. And back to go. Good. So, now, we're going to play a little game with this kick. Mr. Amber doesn't know the game yet. Okay? So, what he's going to do is he's going to lay down on his stomach. You're going to lay down on your stomach. Okay? Good. Now, when I say jump up, he's going to jump up, he's going to throw one thrust kick, and he's going to jump, and he's going to lay back down as fast as he could. Okay? Okay? Doesn't matter which foot he uses, he's just going to jump up, throw one really good thrust kick right towards the camera, and then he's going to go back down on his stomach as fast as he can. Ready? Go! And back down. Nice. Let's see. Now this time... We're going to jump up. We're going to throw two front thrust kicks. One with each leg. When I say go. Ready? Set. Don't cheat. Lay on your bellies. I see some of you already up. Get down on your bellies. Ready, set, go. Up. One kick on the leg. One kick back down quick. Nice. Now this time, we're going to jump up and we're going to throw two front thrust kicks with the same leg. Okay? When I say go, you're going to jump up as fast as you can. Make sure your hands are up. Make sure you kick really hard using your hip. Ready, set, go. Up, two kicks. Same leg, one, two, back down, quick. Awesome. And the last time, we're going to jump up and we're going to do two kicks with our other leg. Ready, get your stomachs on the floor. I see you guys lifting your stomachs off the floor. Ready, set, go. Up, quick. Other leg, one, two, and back down. Okay, now this is the hard one. The last one. Mr. Amaru's getting tired. <laughs> Master Marilla's back there laughing at him too. Keeping her distance back there. Okay, so this time we are gonna jump up and we're gonna do five front thrust kicks and then we're gonna go right back down. Ready? Set, go, up, quick, five, one, two, three, four, five, back down, quick. Now, notice he did it with one leg. Now he's got to do five with the other leg. Five with the other leg. So here we go. Make sure your bellies are flat. No cheating out there. Ready, set, not yet. <laughs> ah, you almost got up, didn't you? Huh? Yeah, I know. You gotta listen. On your mark, get set. Don't go yet. Go! Find the other leg. One, two, three, four, and five. Back down, quick. Great. Now everybody do five really good push-ups. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. On your feet, everybody. Feet together. Bow. Everybody, who are we? Rulohizing Awesome! Hi everybody, Sensei Rulo here and Sensei Holly. We are going to do one break and counter from a rear chokehold. So this rear chokehold, we're actually going to gain control of the attacker's hands, or arms and hands, yes, and counter um, that with a strike, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is your parent or your sibling, depends on how much you want to fight with them, um, are going to grab you from behind. Now what you want to do is 
I'm right-handed, so I'm going to lift my right hand up. Here, we'll go on a tiny bit of an angle. I'm going to lift my right hand up, and it kind of traps that fingers, those fingertips in there. And I'm going to step forward with my left leg, which kind of pulls her off balance, which loosens her grip. And then I'm going to swing all, so i got to have my hand way up. So I'm going to swing all the way around and trap those arms. Okay? And now you're kind of right under their elbows, so you can lift up if you want. Okay? And then march them off to the police station if you're close by. Um, or what you should probably do is a palm strike to the nose, chin, nose. Um, you can take one finger and stick it right in their eyeball if they don't have glasses till it touches the mushy part of their brain. Um, and that's a good counter. Or you can knee to the groin if you'd like, okay, because they can't really block it. I wouldn't worry about, don't do anything to the stomach. People have pretty good stomach muscles, okay? So one more time. <clears throat> they grab, reach up with your strong arm. So if you write with your right hand, that's the hand you probably want to use, okay? Step forward, reach around and grab, hang on nice and tight, and then palm strike to the nose, finger right into the eyeball, um, knee to the groin, walk them to the police station, okay? Whichever you'd like to do. Now we'll do it one more time, a little faster. Up, after I step forward, palm strike, knee, finger. Or just a hug. <laughs> Only if it's sensei. Okay? So that is a rear chokehold. So thank you. Make sure you practice having your parents or your siblings grab you from behind. Good luck. A B, see ya.